Well, you guys, last night Microsoft released an out of bound update called KB504945. That is a security update to fix the supposed problem called Print Nightmare. Now, as you can see by the title of this video, it seems that that update has not completely resolved the Print Nightmare issue with the Print Spooler. It's a vulnerability which is a pretty bad one and it does need to be addressed. Now, I've got two well known security websites here with people claiming that the patch has not fully uh, patched the print nightmare, uh, print spoiler issue, which is a vulnerability for all versions of Windows, which is a very serious issue. They've even patched Windows 7, which tells me that this is a pretty bad issue. Now there is a little workaround until Microsoft fully address this issue. I'm pretty sure that all this information will be handed to Microsoft so they can take a look at it in more details and I'll show you the complete workaround at the moment, which is probably best for you to keep safe. So the first one we're gonna do here is open up the uh, group policy editor by typing GP edit in the search box. You will need to have a Windows Pro or above uh, to use the group policy editor, but I will show you a workaround for home users as well. So in here, we're gonna go computer configuration, administrative templates, and then printers, and look for point and print uh, restrictions here. Inside here, you can see there is an area uh, where we've got not configured. So we want to make sure that this is set to disabled. Now you will be able to reverse this once Microsoft release an official update patch for this particular issue. So once we've got this done, you can see this is set to disabled here. And that's if you've got group policy editor. Now I'll show you the Windows home version in a second, which is a registry key, which you can add now, if you want to be extra secure, you can right click on the start button here and go to uh, Windows Terminal Admin if you're on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, it will be PowerShell, Windows PowerShell. This will open up this here. And what we're going to do here is disable the print spooler just to be safe. Now, I'm not using my printer at the moment because of this issue, so I'm going to disable the print spooler temporarily. But just type out this command, what you see on here, and this is stop uh, dash service space dash name space spooler space dash false and this will stop the service which is the print spooler service you can then type out this large command here which is set dash service space dash name space spooler space dash startup type and then space disabled and this will then put the service to disabled so we've now stopped the service and basically disabled it now, if you don't want to go for all that palaver in the uh, command prompt, I know a lot of people like to see it, you can go to services here in the search box and type services. Open up the service tab here and inside here, you will see that print spooler service and you can do it right from inside here. I just wanted to show you that because some people like to do things via command prompt. You should see print spooler is disabled. Now, once they uh, tell you that it's safe to use, you can actually come back in here and you can set the startup type to automatic and this will then uh, put this to automatic and then start the service again. Let me quickly show you how to do this so you can see it. Go to automatic here and then click apply and then you should see start service and uh, click on start and this will then start the principle of service and then you can click OK. I'm going to stop it right now because I want it disabled, stop the service and have it on disabled. But that's how you reverse the whole uh, situation when it's done. If you want to go back into group policy and take that setting off, you can put it back to not configured. And the same thing will go to your registry. This is the registry key here. I'll show you exactly how to implement that on a Windows uh, home system. And that's now done. And that will be the group policy side of things. So you would still need to do uh, the disable service part if you want to disable the print spooler service as well, whether you're on home, professional, or whatever a version of Windows you are on. Now, in my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry and do these measures right now until Microsoft completely release a full security update patch, which will patch this uh, vulnerability on your Windows system. All of the links and the information that's used in this video will be in the video description, so you can just click on those and check them out. I'll also leave the registry key on uh, my website where you can click on this and go to there and get the registry key from there as well. 
I just want to say a big thank you to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members program. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let's hope we can get to the bottom of this security patch and hopefully feel a little bit better and have our printers back up and running the way they should be. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.